The Jacksonville Jaguars 2021 schedule breakdown is here. I'm your host, Dalton Miller, joined, as always, by my co-host, Ian Cummings. And Jags fans, you have a, a, a ton of, to be excited about. You have your quarterback of the, the now, the present, the future. Congratulations on getting sunshine down in Jacksonville, even though I know it rains down there every afternoon for about a half an hour. It, it pours down. I understand that Florida weather is weird. But you have your quarterback. And, and listen, Trevor Lawrence is going to be an absolute blast for you guys to be able to watch, watch him grow at the NFL level. Let's get into their schedule. The Buffalo Bills in week nine is who Vegas predicts is their toughest matchup of the season. Looking at their schedule, Ian, do you agree? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, looking at I don't see many games with some teams like they play the Bills and the Browns and the Buccaneers and the Chiefs. You know, those are kind of the teams that we've been looking at as the toughest game, the ones you're going to designate that way. I don't see a lot of those games on the Jaguars schedule. They have a relatively easy slate. I think maybe at the Rams week 13 is one that could qualify. Um, I think that maybe at the Titans, too. Uh, I think the Rams and the Titans are two teams. And maybe the Colts in their division, although the Colts, I don't think, are quite there yet. We need to see what happens with Carson Wentz. So overall, outside of the Bills, there aren't a lot of overwhelming matchups that I, I'm going to say, yeah, the Jaguars are going to get crushed there. I think that there are a lot of contenders on the schedule, but it's not one of those overwhelming slates. Uh, so I think the Bills are definitely the toughest one. Yeah, so do I. Uh, the, the the Jaguars are probably the team I'm most excited to see because you you have the, the sideshow that is Tim Tebow. Yeah. Uh, right now, you don't know what's going to happen with that. He's trying to play tight end, H back, whatever it is. A little bit of Taysom Hill role, even though Taysom Hill runs like a 4 4 and Tim Tebow is yeah. 34 years People old. People don't talk about point. that. Taysom Hill is yeah. an People insane. People don't talk athlete. about how athletic he is. Yeah. Yes. But you also have Urban Meyer. And listen, Urban Meyer, we've already, we already know he's a fantastic football coach. He's also very controversial. It's going to be incredibly interesting to see how this team develops and to, to flat out, to see how long Urban Meyer sticks around, I think that your future is bright in Jacksonville, maybe after Urban leaves, but you might get some highs while he's around as well. For me, that's the most difficult game on the schedule as well, the Buffalo Bills. For me, the one that I'm circling to watch the most is easily the Cincinnati Bengals in week four. It's going to be Thursday night football. The last two number one picks in the NFL draft, Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence, going against one another these are two of my top they are my top two quarterback prospects of all time that i have watched i loved both of their games coming out trevor lawrence ceiling is the roof as michael jordan would say i mean this kid could be unbelievable that's kind of the difference between him and joe burrow joe burrow was a finished product coming out of college almost a finished product, that is, and, and was going to be good right away. I'm very interested to see how the athleticism of Trevor Lawrence is able to kind of, you know, help him out, pick up some of those third downs that he is trying to struggle to, to get uh, with his arm early in his career. You also have Travis Etienne, who they drafted in round one and then said, oh, yeah, this guy's going to be our third down back as a round one pick. Listen, Florida man is crazy. <laughs> I'm so, so excited about this team. That's a game I'm excited about. I'm going to stop talking. Which one are you excited about? <laughs> yeah, no, there is a lot to talk about, right? I mean, the Jaguars. So many topics. Urban Meyer, Tim Tebow, Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne. And I mean, that, that doesn't even begin to cover it because this roster actually has they, a lot of hired, young talent. They hired a strength coach and then he had to resign in two days. Like, it, it's, it, it's going to be an absolute riot. At the very, at the very least, it's going to be a uniquely Jacksonville experience. You have, also... they, have, have they announced Hard Knocks yet? When did they announce <laughs> Hard Knocks? Because I need it to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, there's so much to watch, man. There's so much to watch. But if we're talking about on the football field, talking about this talent, I mean, you're talking about the team. What is the state of the team? You have a lot of young talent. You know, you drafted ETN and Lawrence, like you said, but even outside of that, I mean, Josh Allen, Kalevon Chazon, I can't say his name, CJ Henderson, Tyson Campbell. I mean, there's a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Uh, DJ Chark. DJ Chark, so, yeah. LaVisca yeah. Chenault, they, exactly. they have weapons on offense. James Robinson was an yeah. undrafted free agent that rushed for 1,000 yards. Like, this is a good football team. Like, uh, not uh, Okay, I won't say they're a good football <laughs> team. They're an exciting Damn. young 
talented football team. Yeah, exactly. And, and like any with any young team, you have to wait a couple of years for them to develop. And I think that for me, the must-watch game in that context, you look at, it, at teams like teams that are kind of in that same situation. The Jets, I think, is one with Robert yeah. Sala, a, the, another new regime coming in here. Which one of them? That's at week sixteen. So by now, they've had. 15 games or 14 games or the bye week to, to kind of get the swing of things, which one has progressed more uh, to that point? I think that's going to be a very interesting one to watch. Then I'll, I'll piggyback off of the Bengals too. I mean, Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, that's a fun one as well, but also Zach Taylor. I mean, the, the, the seat's starting to heat up a little bit in Cincinnati. If Jacksonville can beat him, not only would that be a domino in Cincinnati, but it would show you that Urban Meyer and Jacksonville maybe things are starting to fall into place because that Cincinnati team, we we went through their video, I think, yesterday. But, you know, the, the coaching, there needs to be some answers there. We need to see how they progress. But they have some talent, right? So if you can beat them with, the, with your young roster in Jacksonville, I think that's a step in the right direction. What's the defining game of the season for them? Uh, yeah, it, Jacksonville fans, I mean. It's, it's, it's really tough. Guys, let us yeah. know in the comments because, I mean, there's a, a couple of games here. For me, it's kind of that Florida-Florida matchup. Mm -hmm. Dolphins versus Jaguars in yeah. London, 9.30. Everybody is going to wake up and watch that football game. That's going to be one for me. I want to see because the Dolphins are, I think, that year or two ahead of schedule. Or not ahead of schedule, but ahead of where the Jacksonville Jaguars are are looking yeah. to be in a year. I think they're kind of the evolution of what Jacksonville could be. And mm -hmm. so I think that's a kind of a defining game to see, not if they can you know, necessarily win the football game, but really compete in that football game. On top of, they are going to be the home team in that football game. There are a yeah. ton of Jacksonville Jaguar fans in London. So that'll be, for me, the defining game of the season. If you don't have one, if you've thought of one, let me know, Ian. If not, I'm going to ask the people to tell me in the comments. No, I think the people will have a better answer than me, honestly. I mean, Let's it, do it. It, all, it all depends. But I, I do think I do think if you're Jacksonville, the best thing you can do when you're in a multi-year rebuild, end the season strong. Week 18 against the Colts, perfect opportunity to do it, I think. YouTubers, let us know in the comments, Jacksonville Jaguar fans, what's the toughest game of the year? What is the defining game of the football season? And which one are you guys circling on your schedule to watch the most?